What's going on, Stephen with KiwiBox.com? Right now I have the pleasure of talking with Steve Rushton. How are you today? I'm fantastic. And you, Steve? I'm doing good. So first off, congratulations on the Hannah Montana movie opening. Um, how many uh, times have you seen the movie so far? I have, yeah. I went to the, the premiere last week and I, I really enjoyed it. It was amazing. Oh, excellent. Um, so take me, da- take me back to your days on the set. Um, what was it like working on the film? It was absolutely amazing. I mean, I've, never, I've never worked on a movie before. So to, to be around like all the set with all like the director, the producer, all the cameras and all the runners and all the cast and stuff, it was just so overwhelming. It was, it was so exciting. It was great. Uh-huh. Well, obviously the star of the movie is Miley Cyrus. Um, before you met her, did you have any preconceived notion of how she would be at all? Um, no, I didn't. I mean, I, I thought that she'd be really busy. I wouldn't even get a chance to speak to her on set. That was the only thing I saw because she was so, so busy and, and getting on with her thing. But that, that was my only thought. I was just completely excited That because I was like, oh, my God, I'm working in the movie with, with Miley Cyrus. It's, it's a super exciting, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. So um, I imagine that I, you've probably listened to a good amount of her music by now. Do you have a favorite song of hers? I've I've uh, been a fan of hers well in advance of of, of this happening. So I mean I, I've I've already already had like the Hannah Montana uh, album from the TV show, and I, I like a lot of the stuff. Like I like Nobody's Perfect. I like a lot of the stuff. Okay, cool. So being here in the U.S. for promotion, um, do you miss being at home in the U.K.? I can imagine it might be uh, you might have a little pang of homesickness once in a while. I'm actually not homesick because I, I've always wanted to be here. I mean, the only thing that the only thing that I I, I kind of miss is my, is my family. But my family have been coming out once every often out here, and I go home. Like I went home at Christmas, but I I don't miss England at all because I love sunshine and I love the people I'm working with here. I'm I'm living my dream, so I I, I couldn't be any more happier. Awesome. Well, in addition to um, acting, so to speak, um, even though you play yourself, you're a singer and a performer um, all the time. So tell me, when did you first start writing your own songs? I was 12 when I wrote my first song. I got into music when I was like eight because my, my stepdad's an Elton impersonator. <laughs> so uh, he, he bought me my first guitar and he got me up on stage with him and his band and I used to play like blue suede shoes when I was about eight. Mm-hmm. So uh, um, af- after that, I, was, I really got into Green Day. So that's when I wanted to be like a singer-guitarist when I was like 12. Mm-hmm. So then I, I started my own band called Mr. Cheerful and we were like a three-piece band like Green Day. And that was when, and it was at that time when I started writing songs. Yeah, so I was about 12. All right, cool. So I know that your debut album is almost finished. Um, what are you thinking of titling it? Uh, do you have any potential? Uh, it, it's, a, it's a working title at the minute. We haven't got uh, a definite one. So, I mean, if any of your listeners or viewers have any ideas, please <laughs> give us some advice. <laughs> MySpace message, Steve, definitely. Um, so um, I guess what should listeners expect when they throw this album on? Uh, I mean, it's quite a diverse album. We've got some really good energy pop songs. We've got some rock songs. We've got some cool ballads. It's just just a very, very fun and and creative pop album. Mm-hmm. Um, and being that your stepdad was an Elvis impersonator, is there any of that bluesy Memphis influence? Of course, there is. Yeah, there's there's a there's a couple of tracks that have got that bit of swing on it because I've been brought up on vinyl, so that's my roots. So. There's a bit, of, there's a bit of a bit of rock and roll flavor in there. Okay, okay. So, when can we expect the album to come out? The album should be out either like July or August time. All right, all right. So, you're also a producer in addition to uh, being a singer songwriter. How has your production work kind of helped you as a singer songwriter, or shaped the way that you approach writing a song? Uh, it, it 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 really it's, it's really helped because you can put new ideas to your songs, and I can record songs at home on my laptop or when I'm in someone's studio, so it, it brings a lot of bells and whistles to, to songwriting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and I, I know that uh, before you kind of became a solo artist, you were in Son of Dork, which was yeah. a band that split a few years back. Um, uh-huh. Do you have any uh, bad feelings about the way that things went down, or is that just kind of all in the past for you? How do you feel about it? I, I really enjoyed the group, but it, it wasn't exactly what I wanted to be doing. Like, I, I was playing bass in that group, not guitar, and I'm a guitarist. So I, I, I really enjoyed being in the band because I, I learned a lot of experiences from that, and, and I, I, I really developed as a musician. So, no, I don't, I don't, I don't regret any of that. I'm, I'm pleased that I'm doing what I want to be doing right now. Mm-hmm. All part you, of the journey. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, when did you decide that it was time to move on from the group and kind of pursue your own solo career? It's probably about two years ago when I, was, I wasn't playing anymore, and I'm like, I picked up a guitar when I was eight years old to be playing the guitar, you know? And I felt like I, I wasn't being able to express my music enough, so I was like... And also, like I was saying, I'm a guitarist, singer, and I wasn't doing everything that I wanted my way, and, and I, I like having things my way, so <laughs> it was about then I decided that I, I wanted to move on. Okay. Well, are you still in contact with your other members? Do you ever talk to them at all? Yeah, of course, yeah. We're, we're, all still, we're all really good friends still. All right, excellent. Um, well, now that you're a solo artist, is it more difficult doing things all on your own, or do you find it to be easier? I, I find it easier. <laughs> There's less confusion. Mm, yeah, definitely. So um, I guess people have been seeing you pop up at all these movie premieres. Um, you must have uh, a lot of cool experiences. If you can kind of reflect back on one of them for us what what would be like the emblematic um cool moment where you were awestruck or something like that but awestruck what do, what do you mean awestruck struck by awe um i guess i um a moment where you were wowed by uh meeting someone or something that stands out to you as totally oh, right. real it's, it's 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 super it's re really kind of uh, overwhelming when you just get onto the carpet and they're all flashing their like their cameras at you. There's like hundreds of photographers and they're saying, "This way, Steve. Look this way. Show us your pearly whites and all that sort of stuff." That's that's really that's really overwhelming. All right. Uh, do you want to shy away from the movie stuff once you uh, kind of I guess take on your career as a singer songwriter? Um, when the no, album? not at all. I want to I want to incorporate both. I, I really love being part of the movies, whether it's the music side or the acting side. I mean, I've been. Uh, I've had a couple of auditions for some Disney shows, which I've had some good feedback from. So I'd like I'd like to kind of just just be able to take advantage of both. Now I'm here. Cool. Um, well, I don't really have any more questions for you today. It's a short interview, but um, I guess just looking ahead, what else can we expect from you uh, aside from the album coming out, aside from the Hannah Montana movie coming out? I uh, what else is there? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not get any of that? I got that. I got. I got up to Hannah Montana. Oh. <laughs> I was saying. Um, I, I guess just looking ahead, what else can we expect from you aside from Hannah Montana? Uh, aside from the album coming out, is there anything else that's in the works? Uh, well, I've been doing a lot of writing, and some uh, some other artists are looking into uh, using some of my tracks. And recently, we had some good news. Actually, have you heard about the new Walt Disney movie called G Force? I have not actually. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm. I've got one of my songs in, in that movie, so we're doing a music video for that movie, so that's coming out, and I should be on the Sweet Life on Deck soon, the Disney show, so there's all sorts of little good things coming out. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good year. Okay, okay. Well, we will look forward to all your future endeavors, and um, Steve, thank you very much again for talking to me today. I appreciate it. Great, and thanks for having the time to speak to me today. Of course, and um, all right, you have a good one. Thank you. You too, Steve. All righty, bye-bye. Bye. Bye.